Bugatti is the kind of car that makes your jaw drop and your wallet weep. Well, buckle up. Because in KwaZulu in South Africa, Zembalani Zondo decided, why wait for millions of dollars when you can just do it yourself? And I cannot comfortably say that this is what a $200 car should look like. This Bugatti looks unbelievable. It is a masterpiece of recycled materials, pure determination, and what I can only describe as engineering optimism. And I dare say, this is probably the most stylish crafted Bugatti ever made. Period. Just point blank. It is truly incredible what our genius has done with almost no cash at all. If Bugatti represents the peak of human innovation, this creation is the rebellious little sibling who said, I can do that too. Just give me some scrap metal and a dream. At first glance you might think, is that a Bugatti? Until you get a closer look. Will Bugattis have a sleek predatory grace that screams I'm faster than your internet? However, our African Bugatti shark on the other hand looks like it's quietly asking for patience. Crafted entirely from recycled materials, it's less about intimidating the competition and more about saying, hey, at least I'm trying. The bodywork is a patchwork of creativity, with every panel telling its own unique story, possibly one of mild trauma and a last minute decision. Let's just say that the real shark here is gravity, constantly trying to drag this beauty back to earth. His dream legacy was to build everything with his own design, but you'd think he got the designs from his child's homework book. Step inside and you'll find the interior. In a real Bugatti, every inch screams luxury battery leather seats, hand-stitched details, and cutting-edge technology. In this shack, the seats look like they were pulled from a long-abandoned minivan. And the dashboard? It's a delightful chaos of mismatched dials and switches that probably control something, anything. It's less state-of-the-art cockpit and more Guess and hope control center. But hey, it's cozy if you like your supercars with the aside of homely charm. And then there's performance. Real Bugattis are designed to obliterate speed records, tearing across highways at over 400 km per hour with the grace of a falcon in flight. The African Bugatti shark is more like a determined tortoise on a particularly enthusiastic day. It claims to move, and it does, just not as speedy as you'd expect. But that's okay because this car isn't just about speed, it's about spirit. It's about taking the dream of a supercar and turning it into something real. Well, mostly real. Oh, and let's not forget about the paint job. Bugattis are known for their sophisticated finishes, often in sleek blacks, silvers, and blues that radiate elegance. This Bugatti shark, however, takes a bold departure with colors that can only be described as joyful chaos. It doesn't whisper wealth or status, it just shouts creativity and courage. Honestly, it's refreshing. This car doesn't care if it fits in a luxury car show. It's here to be seen, celebrated, and admired for what it is. A testament of thinking outside the scrapyard. Sure, it won't overtake real Bugattis on a racetrack anytime soon. 
and it might wobble a bit if it hits a pothole. But this creation is more than a car. It's an idea come to life. It's proof that you don't need millions of dollars to make something extraordinary. You just need imagination and a lot of elbow grease and maybe a touch of reckless optimism. Forget luxury or speed. This shark is all heart. And isn't that truly what makes a supercar? Well, sort of. And for those of you who have any doubts in our inventor, he has also created a glove sensor that can control a robotic arm for the disabled. So its robotic arm is also equipped with motion sensors. So it doesn't always need its glove sensors to control it. I think you all better start supporting and believing in this young man before he becomes a villain because this is how they start in movies. I wonder how he comes up with all of this. What goes on in your head Tembalani? You need to tell us. Like this is an amphibious robot. And it looks exactly like a stingray. So apparently, he has not only conquered the mechanical world, but also the art world, by creating a drawing machine that can draw different roses by changing the timing system. If our engineer had serious materials, he would serve as flames. Like this is a drone mosquito. The only drone mosquito in Africa. So what is this guys? Do you have any idea? Please comment below if you know what this is. So this is a western robot serving drinks. Um, yes, your ice latte is ready. And this is an inventor's robot that can not only serve coffee but also tea. And to add on top of it all, it also adds sugar to your drink. This shit is crazy. 